Today, in this video we are going to talk about Canada Immigration New Update. We are going to talk about Quebec Release's 2022 list of occupations eligible for facilitated LMIA. If you are interested in this topic please watch till the end of this video for latest immigration updates and news. Please like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell icon. Let's get into the video. Quebec has updated the list of high-demand jobs for which employers do not need to prove that they have made recruitment efforts when hiring temporary foreign workers Quebec released the new list of in-demand occupations that benefit from facilitated processing under the labor market impact assessment process. The new list has been significantly expanded from last year's list of 181 occupations there are now 228 occupations eligible for facilitated processing on the list which covers all of Quebec and takes into account the labor needs of all regions. The new list that was released yesterday is effective immediately there is a 30-day transition period to allow the employer, or their representative, to have applications submitted under last year's list reviewed. Once a year, on February 24, the Quebec Ministry of Immigration publishes a list of occupations for which employers wishing to hire temporary foreign workers benefit from a facilitated labor market impact assessment process. The purpose of the list is to accelerate the arrival of temporary foreign workers in the province to work in sectors where there is an acute labor shortage it is intended to help employers who are unable to find Canadian or permanent resident workers to fill their job vacancies. Quebec is facing a declining birth rate and an aging population and currently has the second highest job vacancy rate in Canada. According to a December report by the Canadian Federation of Independent Business, 64% of small businesses in Quebec report experiencing labor shortages. The Quebec government estimates that newcomers, particularly temporary foreign workers, will fill 22% of job vacancies by 2026 with the need for new labor increasing. The Quebec government has actively adjusted its immigration policies to allow more immigrants to come to the province. A number of programs have been recently implemented or existing ones expanded in Quebec to make it easier to hire foreign workers in the province. These include an agreement signed between Quebec and Ottawa last year to increase the maximum number of temporary foreign workers per workplace from 10% to 20% and to exempt occupations with on-the-job training NOC skill level D from posting and demonstration of recruitment efforts. Facilitated Labor Market Impact Assessment Process in Quebec before they can apply for an labor market impact assessment, Canadian employers who hire temporary foreign workers must demonstrate that they have advertised an open position through a variety of methods and provide proof of their recruitment efforts. These efforts may consist of advertising the position for at least 28 days, interviewing eligible candidates to demonstrate to the Government of Canada that no Canadian citizen or permanent resident is ready, willing and able to be hired for the position, which would require the hiring of a foreign worker. Quebec employers who hire temporary foreign workers for certain targeted positions must also apply for an labor market impact assessment, but have access to a much simpler and faster hiring application process. Quebec's list of occupations for facilitated LMIA is established by Employ Quebec in collaboration with Ministère de l'Immigration, de la Francisation et de l'Integration, and is based on Canada's 2016 National Occupational Classification NOC system. Quebec employers offering jobs that correspond to one of the occupations or job titles on this list must follow the facilitated procedure facilitated labor market impact assessment process applications must be approved by both federal and provincial authorities. For this reason, employers who wish to hire foreign workers must submit application forms and supporting documents to both the Employment and Social Development Canada ESDC, and the MIFI. Hopefully the details and information is presented in this video is helpful. Canada Immigration News Channel will be releasing a new video when new information is available on any of these updates or requirements. If you have not subscribed, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to click on that notifications bell icon. See you sooner in next new immigration video.